Okay, so we're here. Welcome to Daisy Isle, everyone. We are on Amanda's spooky and like Halloween themed island. Before we get started, Let's take a look at the map. That is the dream address down below if you guys would like to check this island out for yourself. We have two residents on this island. We have Amanda and we have Luna. And then the villagers we have are all kind of like spooky gothy vibes. I'm into it. We have Muffy, obviously. We have goth GF sheep, Matilda, Eunice, Agnes, Roscoe, Nan, Rodeo. Ugh. Tiffany, <laughs> Rattle, and Cherry. I love how Cherry is so bright compared to the rest of the villagers. These are like top tier villagers for Spooky Island. I love it. This is so cute. <laughs> this little flag is so cute. Oh, I love these patterns on the ground here. It's like a colorful brick design. Then we have these accent pieces. Ooh, candy. I'll take those. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> more candy. Ooh, I will take that. Ooh, more candy. Whoa, what is this? Is this like a Halloween cabinet? I'm gonna be so behind on everything because I literally have not seen any of the seasonal items. Look, oh, wow, that looks like a house. Oh my gosh, Amanda, this is crazy. Ooh, candy, ooh, another candy. This is right in the entryway when you come out of the airport. We're down at the beach. Ooh, what's this? Don't mind if I do. We're gonna grab this. We got a little boba on the Halloween island. Coffee shop, coffee shop on the beach. There's a haunted boba truck that is so cute. Like coffee stand over to the left. To the right, we have this colorful boba stand with birthday cakes behind. Ooh, there it is. Ah, we got, oh, we got a lot of presents over here. So we've come over to the left of the airport into this. What even is this? What area is this? Amanda's leaving us costumes, so we'll, we'll fit in a little bit better. Here I am wearing my cardigan and my Gucci hat. We have a spooky wand. Oh, very spooky. Ooh, I'm spooked. Frugal dress, little witch dress. Oh, this is so cute. I'm like a little cottagecore witch. Now I'm a peasant. I wanna be a peasant witch. And then a mage's dress. Ooh, actually, I take that back. I don't wanna be a peasant anymore. I would like to be a witch. Ooh. Oh, here's one of the residents. Nice to eat you. I mean, meat. Meet you. I feel like there may be some cannibalism on this island. We do have docoration. Of course, Amanda knows what's good. I want to say a little like seaside property going on over here. This little neighborhood made with all the doll houses with the skeleton guardians, I guess. Okay, we'll head up this way. This is where I was before. Oh, actually, ooh, that looks really cool. Whoa, that is so cool. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I believe this is a villager's house. I wanna say this is like Muffy's house or something, but it looks like an abandoned house. What is this? Oh my God, it looks like a zombie is about to pop out of that box. That's so funny. <gasps> oh my God, there's a flower garden back there. It's a jack-o'-lantern flower garden. That is really, really impressive. So it's made with orange windflowers and black tulips. And then at the top, the little stem is made of green mums. We're upstairs, we're on the second floor. And we've got potions go. Oh, these are some fancy custom designs here. So we have an eyeball on the right. We have a cauldron. Then we have a zombie head. And then we have a witch's face. That witch's face is so funny. And we've come across some villager houses. So these once again also look like abandoned houses with like shattered glass. So as we head behind these houses, Ooh, this looks like um, a little witch's garden, maybe. They're growing, you know, some pumpkin, squash. We have some mushrooms over here. There's also like random garbage and weeds. Looks a little bit overgrown. Oh my God, is that a spirit Halloween? Oh my God, there's a spirit Halloween back there. For those of you that aren't in North America, they're like pop-up Halloween costume stores. If there is like an empty building in like, like September, October, these places pop up everywhere. They don't have like an official sign. It's always like a plastic banner that they hang in the front. But yeah, just out of nowhere, it's like overnight spirit Halloween just like pop up. 
It's crazy. Ooh, <gasps> this looks like a huge haunted house. This is where the two island representative houses are. So this is where Amanda's house and the other character's house is. <gasps> what is this? Oh, this is cool. Another haunted mansion. Like this is next level. Sometimes you see stuff like this and you're like, how are we playing the same game? Like, come on. And that's another tall, spooky building. But what I love is the lucky cat on the moon. It's like the, the black cat in the silhouette of the moon. Ooh, candy. Ooh, another piece of candy. Ooh, candy. We have pumpkin pies here. If anyone would like some pumpkin pie. Ooh, candy. Ooh, another piece of candy. So let's go to Amanda's house first. Amanda's is the one on the left. So let's head on in. Knock, knock. So this is Amanda's house. We have like a monochrome feel going on. It feels very modern over here. I don't think we can get to the back area. It looks like it's blocked off, but we can still go into the left and right rooms. Okay, so we are in the right room over here. This looks like a Halloween themed candy bakery cafe. <laughs> a candy restaurant. Oh, I like this. This is my type of restaurant. And we're in this dreamy little cottage core themed kitchen. It's like, it almost looks like it's an outdoor kitchen because the floor is all mossy and leafy. Ooh, this is definitely like modern witchy vibes. Look at this. This is so cute. Is this a summoning circle? What's going on over here? Are they trying to bring Lucky back from the dead? Like what's happening? The black uh, baby doll on the shelf. Yeah, that's Bride of Chucky over there. <laughs> There she is. I'm too much of a weenie to watch Bride of Chucky, so I don't know what the actual reference is, but it's a really, really cute room, and I love it. <gasps> oh my god! What? Oh my god! What is this? Holy crap! It's Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is like um, the iconic like image of um, Jack with the moon in the background. It definitely have the same same vibes of it being like dark and gloomy. Oh, and then we have all the pumpkins yeah. as well. Okay, okay, we're heading into the next house. This is house number two. Knock, knock, this is Luna's house. Who's Jeffrey? Jeffrey Bezos. Born in 1965. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Okay, so uh, here's house number two. Is house number two a storage room house or is this like another reference to like a Chucky movie or something? <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this second room is, is empty. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Something, something, put your... I can't remember the lyrics. This is really cool. So at the top of the left beach, we have some statues. We've got some moss and like wood on the beach, jack-o'-lanterns. So pretty much she just has a bunch of like uh, the dead Halloween trees and this like mossy leafy path. There's a lot of plants and weeds and bugs around. So it definitely fits in with like the Halloween vibes. So along the left side beach, uh, she just got a series of like attractions whether it's like a winding path. Anyway, when we come down to this beach, we're back at the campsite, which we saw earlier. Wait, wait, what is this? Hold on, I just noticed this. Why are there two dolls just looking out? That's so spooky. They're just looking out. Oh, there's like a wooden pathway. And when you walk over it, you can see the forest on both sides. There's a trick or treat area, another trick or treat station with some candies. This is another villager house. It looks like we're in the neighborhood over here. There's another house. This is another villager house, except they look like they have hands coming through the windows, which is kind of spooky. Ooh, I really like this tile. <gasps> this is so cute. Another like spooky pumpkin building. This one's orange tone. I mean, there's so many different areas of this island where if you just stop and like pan up, you get a whole different view of like, you know, a big building or a castle or a mansion or something. Whoa, we've come to the beach and there's this really interesting lit up walkway that we can go through with skeletons and lamps over here. That's a really cool effect. They also have the frozen partition. And up here at the very top, I guess this is kind of like a photo op if you want to sit in the skeleton throne. It's like a, a spooky ghost house. As you can tell by the many ghosts and the spooky demeanor and the candles, it is indeed a spooky ghost house. Over to the right hand side, it looks like we have a Halloween birthday party. Ooh, what's this? Is this another coffee shop? It looks like we have a little coffee shop. Yep, with the coffee sign outside, I would say that's the case. Sometimes I get lost on islands. I'm like, where am I? I love this. This is a very like picturesque island. I think it's a great one to visit if you just want inspiration for things. 
I think you got everything. Yay. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on today's island tour. If you'd like to check out Amanda's Island, her Instagram will be linked down in the description below, as well as the dream address if you want to visit for yourself and get some ideas on how to decorate for Halloween. If you want to check out more island tours, be sure to head over to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please drop me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.